From the night garden to another immersive environment, playful, colorful, and downright trippy. Let me introduce you to Miami-based artist Hyleen, who has an installation at the Young at Art Museum in Davie, and you've got to see it to fully experience it. We're here at the Young at Art Museum in Davie to talk about lightscapes, and we're sitting here with the artist herself, Hyleen. I'm sure, you know, it took a lot to, f to fill such a huge space, but that's sort of your forte. So tell us a little bit about uh, your grand idea for, for lightscapes. I'm tiny but mighty, so I do like the large-scale enveloped realities. I do like to build, to make you feel like you're in a destination. Everything that you see here on this space, I fabricated myself. Being that, I feel like it's such a, a purest approach to how we perceive art and how that art is reflected. We're gonna take a walk around and cool. you'll be able to tell me more about the different elements of this uh, very immersive world. We're sitting underneath the high mobile. I was able to do a new process for this exact exhibition. I was able to learn how to chrome, which is about a six-step chemical process in order to get materials to have a mirrored finish. Mm. And I was able to add some of them with a the mirrored finish and some with colors, so that way the colors can really and the light can really transcend even more so. It's almost like a galactic chandelier piece. I think my, my dining room's a little small for this one, but you know. <laughs> it's a maze. Each of these pieces are all full length of acrylic four by eight sheets and all of these sheets, I had them hydro dipped. Mm. And each and every single one and almost creates this beautiful ripple effect of color mm. and you know focusing on um, fluorescent paints but really adds another layer of texture into into the pieces themselves so I was really happy to have that extra narrative into into the space where it really allows for this more hypnotic surreal environment. mirrors add another world mm -hmm. into this space in itself. So it's really beautiful where kids can, they glimpse themselves inside the pieces and they catch themselves with different colored mirrors. Of course, we look up and it's just like another another world up there. Mm -hmm. We added over 80 lights mm -hmm. for the rooftop. So not only do you get a sense of a different world while you're down, down here in this level, but also when you look up, it's also another spectrum as well. And of course, using a lot of cycling material. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, nonprofit called High Labs, where it really is using uh, upcycling material and providing the material for other artists to use, so that way they're able to save money on their projects and prototyping and just, just you know, an organic process. So I'm really into upcycling and using that as a part of uh, my process and my artwork. I have heard over the years from artists that one of the biggest um, the barricades they face is the high cost of art supplies sometimes, Agreed. especially if they're a large scale artist. So this one's called Aqua. Aqua is from a, this is actually 30 panels, but the original Aqua installation is 60 panels. And so this is actually half of the size of the original piece. And each of these different panels are a collage of like my past life and who I was in fashion. These are actually the first colors that we see that actually when uh, the R and the G and the B collide, create a secondary base where it then turns into white light. So it's reverse engineering on how we're supposed to see light and the representation of light. And since uh, I primarily focus on 
uh, LEDs, and LEDs are consisted of uh, an RGB wiring system as well, so it's really beautiful to have that narrative. Having that educational aspect behind my exposition is really something that it's exciting for all ages, so, and it's great to be able to see how beautiful exactly you, I mean, it's like endless fun, and you can pretty much live in here all day long using all of these different colors. <laughs> but also, too, I had where we were able to interact, so showing association by each of the different colors and having each one turned off, where they understand how uh, colors, uh, the light interacts with one another. So it gives a different perspective every single time. So understanding that Red, green, and blue. White will transcend into these colors in itself. Tell us just a little bit about what you have coming up in the future. Most of my work is so large scale that I'm finally producing small scale work. Hmm. So it's great to start on that challenge and working on more of a micro level so that way people like you can take home these pieces and you can take a little part of this uh, hallucination back home with you. And be sure to check out our 360 video of Lightscapes on our South Florida PBS Facebook page.